it's Joni B and Ginny B is back there. So today is kind of our first little cooking the southern style. And what better way, what more southern thing to start cooking with than cheer wine, a North Carolina product. Remember you guys, we were just in North Carolina. We visited an amazing place called Murray's Mill in Catawba. I said that right, okay, Catawba, North Carolina, and they posted this recipe, the Cheerwine Poke Cake. So now that I got my new kitchen, I was like, let's try it. We're gonna start with a, a white cake mix. I do prefer Pillsbury, I don't know why, just that's my preference. But you can use any white cake mix, and we're gonna follow the directions on the back, but instead of water, we're gonna use Cheerwine, and then I've already pre-chopped up some cherries. White cake mix, follow the directions. So I needed three eggs. Oh, I gotta go get my oil. Um, oil and cheer wine. Let me get my oil. All right, so now I'm gonna just go to town and mix this. Well, let's go ahead and measure this out first. I need a cup of cheer wine. You know, I've never even tried cheer wine. Fix it. Hmm. Kind of tastes like cherry coke. my oven to 350. And this will be all the experience because I'm back to using electric instead of gas. So this is the first cake I've made in it. So my white cake mix. My eggs. So that's a one. You, a three, and then I'm gonna put my cheer wine. Then my oil. Ooh, that didn't sound good. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this little baby up. Now, I'm going to, oh, oven's preheated. Perfect timing. Look at that. Get all my cherries out. That was kind of a booger to do that. That's pretty, can you see? The cherries in there. Now, why do you think I'm using a spoon instead of a so you don't pulverize the cherry pieces. There you go! Cooking spray. So it doesn't stick. Jennifer's dancing. Are you excited? Good. Yes. Okay. Okay, let's see. Come out. Ooh. Ooh look at that. That's in a 9 by 13. Baking pan. Because remember, this is a poke cake, so when I, when the cake is done and cooled, we're gonna poke holes in it and put some more stuff on top of it. Got it on the middle rack. So, there it goes. Timer. I'm actually gonna start with 34 because I don't know this stove yet. So then I'll check it. Stick my little knife in there to see if it comes out clean. So now I'm gonna clean up, and while this is cook while this is cooking, I'm gonna clean up, 
get ready because then I'm gonna be making some juice to go on top of it, but I need to wait till I pull it out of the oven. So, because I'm gonna be using gelatin, and if I did it now, then it would form a jello, which I don't want that. I want it to be liquefied when I pour it over my cake. So we're going to do magic a video. So we'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, I'm back. Yes, I am. So I told you guys this is a new oven. So I was turning the light on to check it and it was just beautiful, beautiful color. I'll come and show you. Um, isn't that pretty? Um, and the smell was done. You people who cook, you understand what that means. Um, you just kind of know when you kind of smell that. So it actually didn't take the whole time to cook. Again, this is a new oven, so that might be why. Um, have more out the heating element yet. So now I'm going to let that cool, and while that's cooling, I am going to boil this cheer wine. It was actually a cup and a half, which is a whole can, by the way. And then we're gonna be adding the cherry jello. Once that's boiled, then I'm going to melt it. So we're gonna let that cool. And let's see what the directions say. The directions say it should cool for about 15 minutes. So, let's set the timer for 15 minutes. We're waiting for the cup to boil and we'll be right back. I'm back again. I know. Am I telling that to myself or am I telling that to you guys? Yes, you're back. Okay, so my cheer wine has come to a boil. Let me tell you, on this range we have a quick boil um, burner and it's quick. So um, again, I'm so used to gas because I do prefer gas. Um, but we're gonna use what we got, right? So I did remove it from the hot. If you have gas stove, you know, once you turn the heat off, it's off. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix my jello into my, woo, that was kind of cool. You missed it, I'm sorry. So we're just gonna stir this till it dissolves. So now we've got a straw. I use pink because, you know, pink, pink, pink. I'm gonna do that all across the cake. It's supposed to be about two inches. I think that that's not two inches, but. Oh, look at all the cake going up in the straw. So you can like suck that. <laughs> Oops. So I just made it, it's a bendy straw. And that was not very smart. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, there's your comedy for the day, people. All the cake up in there. And so if I do this, no, suck it up. No way, it's hot. So now I'm gonna pour. Here's where the long time starts. I cover it for four hours. So two o'clock, so what's that? So six o'clock, we'll see you again. Bye. Hello. So we are final step. And that is for the whip topping. Now usually that whip topping would be Cool Whip. However, I am following the recipe now. And so I'm gonna make my own whip topping. So that should be interesting. 
So I'm going to use my electric mixer. I'm gonna beat the heavy cream and the confectionery sugar and the cherry juice until stiff peaks form. And then I'm gonna spread it on top of the cake and I'm gonna garnish it with cherries. Okay, here we go. Two cups of heavy whipping cream. So if people don't like cherries, should they try this recipe? Hmm, no. <laughs> Since every single thing has had cherry in it. Put it in the, what are the things called? What is it called? 